Hello everyone, it's Carrie from sunshineinmypocket.com and today I have this letterboard die cut from Mama Elephant and I'm going to share with you my secrets for creating a lot of letterboards quickly. If you do just a little bit of pre-planning, you can make this super easy to create any sentiment you want on any on all these cards. So this is what I'm going to be sharing. I have four to share with you today, but there's a lot more you can certainly make with these techniques and with what I am sharing. So stay tuned for that. First, I'm going to cut all of these dies apart. I'm just using these jewelry snips that I have. And look at this, this is so cute. It's got a little elephant on this die cut. And I thought that was so sweet. You can tell that it's a mama elephant die for sure. And so I decided to leave that right on. But I am gonna cut apart the letterboards part from the actual stand here. I have here one of my favorite magnet sheets. This is one of the thicker ones. It is a eight by seven, I believe. And that is what I'm gonna keep all of this on. It fits perfectly. Now, as you can see, when I die cut that letterboard set, it die cuts a little stitch line around the entire thing. And so I decided to cut that down to be a frame for the actual letterboard. I just love the stitching and I thought that it looked really good as a frame. And so look here, I'm just cutting that down so that that's gonna look really great right around that letterboard. And this almost looks a little like a chalkboard. This would be really great for some back to school cards. These can be actually anything you want. Now in this particular die cut, all the letters come together. And so when you cut them out, you're going to be cutting all of the letters. And so here is my trick for you. I have this double-sided adhesive, and this is a ginormous roll. I don't know if I'm ever gonna run out of this double-sided adhesive. This one is from Elizabeth Craft Designs. They also sell this almost anywhere. Scrapbook.com has a really great roll as well. You could use any double-sided adhesive you have if you have the sheets or whatever you have. Here I'm just going to be putting that adhesive onto all these different colors of cardstock. And I am cutting all of those out so that they're going to fit that letter, the letter set on them. So here's all of my colors. I have decided to do a rainbow of colors so I can choose whatever color I want for my letters, or I could do a rainbow. And if you do this ahead of time, then you're gonna have plenty of letters to build your sentiments and build your cards really quickly. So that's what I'm saying. It works really well in the pre-plan. Now I'm using some Tim Holtz scissors. These are non-stick scissors and I definitely recommend you use non-stick scissors for this. I actually ended up moving to my Cutter B scissors that are the titanium and they are non-stick as well. So I'll link those below. I love them. I like these Tim Holtz ones too. And see here, I put them in this little pocket and then I can keep all of my letters behind in the pocket so anytime I want to create a letterboard card I have them ready to go. So that is a really great thing to do when you're making letterboards have those letters ready. Let's go ahead and put together the card now. You need to cut two of the letterboard stands themselves. One of the frame and one of that uh, this piece here which looks like the chalkboard. You can't really see the lines on it. There are lines that indent in so they're like embossed into that so it looks like a real letterboard really super cute and so first before i put the entire letterboard together the board itself i'm going to put the frame around where i think this is going to be centered that is going to make it easy to put that frame on straight and leave enough space for the actual letterboard this piece here the black piece i wish you could see the lines a little better but you're just going to have to take my word for it uh, you might be able to see it on some of the other colors better. So now these two are going to fit together using this piece here. And all you do is fold that in half, give it a little encouragement to fold nicely using that bone folder, and then glue that onto one side. I found it easiest to turn it over and then push that down so that it was nice and even, and then go ahead and glue the other side. You can use score tape or a really strong double-sided adhesive here if you would like. I am finding lately that I'm loving the liquid glue for making things last a little bit longer for sticking together. So I have been using liquid glue a lot lately and testing out a bunch of different kinds. 
So I'm using this uh, Lawn Fawn liquid glue today and that worked really well. So now I'm just going to put together a couple others here. If you don't have a 100 pound paper, a really thick paper like I used on the other board, that's what I'm using here on this brown one as well. I thought the brown would make it look kind of like a wooden, you know, like the kind you put outside of your little store, have a little letter board out there. Anyway, I, I used 100 pound paper for both the cream one and the brown one. But if you don't have that, you can always use one of the boards that you cut on the front of a card base and that will give it a little extra so that it's got extra layers, makes it a little more sturdy. So it's just a matter of what paper you have. As I say, this brown one is also a hundred pound paper. And so I'm doing this exactly the same way that I did the first one, using liquid glue, placing the frame on first, then the letter board, and then putting those two stands together. This creates a really cute card that stands up on its own as long as you use a nice sturdy paper and it works well for your card. You can still write on the inside just like you would a regular card and then when they open it up, it's like you have your own shaped letterboard card. Super cute. So I'm just making sure this one is standing straight and then I'll put an acrylic block over that so that it can dry and adhere well together. Now let's move on to some of the other ones. Here's the other examples I was telling you about that I just put the letter board fronts on the actual card base themselves. And now I'm going to build up my sentiments. You can build any sentiment you want with these, which is one thing I love. And for this one, I just used some packaging to kind of get the spacing correct before I committed to putting it on that letter board. You can do that just to make sure your letters are going to fit along with the images that you choose. Now this one is a Jessica Lynn Originals design, this little owl, super cute with the, the parrot. Both of them have an eye patch, so I really love that. And I'm actually sending this to Jessica Lynn herself. She just did an interview with me on YouTube. I'll link it below so that you have the link if you're interested to check that out. But it was really kind of her and I just love her design. So I created this card, especially for her. I've already sent it to her. <laughs> She's received it, so now it's safe for me to post this. So I did a little play on what a pirate might sound like if they were saying, you are awesome. Uh, I know, I can't do a pirate impression to save my life. But anyway, that's our first card. I hope you enjoyed that one. And then I chose some other mama elephant images for this one the giant balloon with that little boy holding on. And I thought that I'd make this one a happy day card. This could be a congratulations card or a birthday card. And I used the same two colors for the letters that I colored up his outfit. So that worked out really well too. For this one, I used a mama elephant raccoon and some little ducks following him. This one I turned into a real happy birthday card. It says happy birthday using all of the colors here. You can actually put a, there's room enough to put a number down here as well if you wanted to personalize it even more when you're ready to send that out. And since I had all these letters already cut out, I thought the rainbow would be really pretty for this sentiment. Now what I'm doing here is I'm actually cutting out around that card of the letter, the letter board stand itself. So it does look like the letter board, but I did put it on a card base to give it the extra stability. So that works out well too, if you wanna do it that way. Now, this last one are some little bees. These are from Studio Katya and so cute, these little happy bees. And so this one is gonna say, be happy. And I'm using the same color letters that I did on the frame. And you can see I'm not pushing these down very hard because I thought for this one, I could just kind of simply place them to make sure that the spacing was correct before I pushed them all the way down and completed that card. And that worked out pretty well, so now I'm going to go ahead and just push those down, make sure they're in the right spots using my craft pick. This comes in so handy. And then I'll pop up the bees with some 3M foam tape. I pretty much popped up all of the, the characters on all these cards with foam tape just to give it some dimension and some more interest. And now these can be personalized even further with some more letters if you want, or you can just write your sentiment on the inside. Look at that. You can see the letterboard lines on this one a little better now that I hold that up close. So there's our be happy card. We've got our happy birthday card. 
oh happy day card with the big balloon and then this little owl card which I absolutely love so there's all the cards we made today it was pretty quick once I got all those letters cut out and I don't know if you noticed but I still had a lot of letters left so I can actually create a lot more cards with what we just cut out today using all of those rainbow colors so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help. And I do enjoy all of your comments. Thank you so much. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell so you don't miss the next tip and card share. I loved sharing these cards with you today and I'll be back real soon with some more inspiration. For more details, you may want to go check out my blog at sunshineonmypocket.com and definitely check out the links below if you're interested. Thanks so much again for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.